Whatever it is, us toxic crusaders can handle it. No, Junkyard! Don't open that door! As we watched, dozens and dozens of radiation rangers kept climbing out of the limousine. Oh, wow. How neat. I think I once saw this in the circus. I think I once saw you in a circus. Let him start something. We're ready for him. Wait, Crusaders. You can't fight them. Why not, Toxie's mom? You think there's too many of them? Did we suddenly lose our superpowers? Is the episode over? No! You can't fight them because you're wearing your best clothes. It's okay, Mom. They're rented. Oh, well, in that case, get down and dirty! The battle wasn't going too well, and the bad guys, namely Psycho and Bonehead, knew it. <laughs> we got the Toxic Crusaders right where we want them! Yeah, down in the dumps. <laughs> okay, Radiation Rangers. Charge! Like I said, things were going badly for us, especially for Mop, when suddenly... That music sounds awfully familiar. Maybe this is a rerun. Don't worry, Snail Man will help you fight these bad guys. Snail Man? Where'd he come from? Tromoville River. It seems the combination of snail shells and engine oil created a weird chemical reaction. Now that part I know I heard before. I bet he's great to play fetch with. He never loses the ball. Don't just stand there, you metal morons. Blast that creep. Pardon my back. Oh, cut it out. Quit it. I believe ceasefire is the phrase he's searching for. All right, ceasefire. Why can't we get to fight some normal human beings? Who'd ever watch a show like that? Oh, radical. The dude's shell is harder than, than... I believe my head is the phrase you're searching for. Oh, right. Harder than your head. It's time to slime. Now, the guy's got super snail slime sludge, too. I'm impressed. And I'm impressed that you could pronounce it. Personally, this has been one of the more embarrassing episodes for me. Who was that thing with the plungers? I don't know. But the last thing this show needs is another hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength. Kill him off! I'm losing my gentle disposition! Bonehead and Psycho have failed! As if I didn't expect it. Now, where are we going to get filth for my aqua filter? Never fear your bugship. I just had a brilliant idea. The moment the Tromoville garbage barge passes directly over our underwater sludge quarters, I'll torpedo it. That will give us all the trash we'll need. Are you certain it will work, Gilimoth? You have my word as a doctor on it. It turned out that there were still a few hours left on the limo the Radiation Rangers had rented for the attack on us, so we decided to drive it to Yvonne's recital. And I fell off the bridge and onto that barge, and that's how I became Snail Man. The casual ride gave us a chance to get acquainted with our new friend, Snail Man. Faster, Toxie's mom, faster! I live for speed! Fine words coming from a snail! Whoa! Way to go, Toxie's mom! Floor it! I hope everyone has his, her, or its seatbelt on! Say, Snail Man, you're a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength who also had an environmental accident. Why not become a toxic crusader? Move in with us here at our beautiful dump. Righteous notion, Nozan. Yeah, and your super suction plungers would sure be helpful with our toxic plumbing problems. It's a mighty tempting offer, guys, but since my mutation, I'm strictly a creature of H2O. Okay, everyone, we're here. What perfect timing. The ride gave us just enough time to learn a little of Snailman's backstory. Somehow, we made it safely to the end of the pier. It was kind of sad saying goodbye to our new friend, Snail Man. Sure you won't change your mind, Snail Man? We could build you your own toxic wading pool. Thanks, Crusaders, but my place is with other underwater creatures like myself. See you around!
Now there's a fellow who knows how to make a splash. Meanwhile, deep below the Tromaville Harbor, Dr. Kilimoff's evil plan was being put into action. As for those containers the Radiation Rangers are setting up, I have no idea what they're for. You'll find out soon enough, my fine toxic twerp. Psycho Bonehead, prepare the sludge pedos for firing. It's garbage time! Step right up, culture lovers, and have your dollar bills ready. Remember, all money collected from this concert goes to a very good end. This is Yvonne's first music recital. Ooh, I hope she's not nervous. She'll be fine, Nozone. Mom's backstage with her. Now, remember to dance around, sweetie. You want to be a moving target when all those vegetables come flying in. And believe me, they will. Oh, Toxie's mom, you're such a comfort. Oh, honey. Now, go out there and knock them dead. <clears throat> But at that very moment, Kilimoff was starting the countdown for the Smogulin Sludge Pedo. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Uh, what comes before six? Three? Or is it twelve? Don't ask me. You're the scholar of the group. It's five, you dipstick! Oh, yeah. Five, four, three, fire Sludge Pedo! Close enough. <laughs> When we last saw Dr. Kilimoff's sludge pedo, it was headed straight for the Tromoville garbage barge. It was all part of Tsar Zoster's plan to smother Tromoville with that white plastic foam stuff that VCRs come packed in and no one knows how to get rid of. I know this is a lot of recapping, but you kind of forget the story when you stop for a bunch of commercials. Meanwhile, the lovely Yvonne was about to make her public singing debut. I don't want to brag, but everyone who was anyone was there. It was the social event of the season, which gives you an idea of the social life in Tromaville. Finally, the big moment arrived. <coughs> Hi, I'd like to start my recital with an original song I just made up, and it goes something like this. Oh, I wrote this little song, and if you want to sing along, I'd love to let you, but you really shouldn't try. You could hurt yourself by singing way too high. Oh, man, what an awesome note. Suddenly, I found myself having another full-fledged Tromaton attack. Look, fellas, Tox is having another full-fledged Tromaton attack. And like he's added some new moves. Yeah, go, Tox, man, go! What is it, Toxie? It wasn't Yvonne singing that caused the garbage barge to blow up. It was something evil out there in the water. Lloyd, look! The Tromaville garbage barge is licking refuse into our harbor! Oh, this is awful! Fellas, this looks like a job for the Toxic Crusaders! It's freedom time! Stop! How many times must I tell you? You've got to wait at least 15 minutes after eating before going into the water to fight bad guys! Oh, 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 no, sorry, sorry. Those are the rules. While we were waiting to digest our peanuts, Dr. Kilimoff was carrying out his evil scheme. Tsar Zoster, this is an historic moment. Just watch as the Tromoville garbage is sucked into the aqua filter sludge quarters by way of our specially constructed filth funnel. And now, my faithful radiation rangers use the latest technology to transmogify the garbage into that white plastic foam stuff. Please, Mom! You gotta let us swim out to that garbage barge. Dr. Kilimoff is planning to smother Tromoville in that white plastic foam stuff. Yeah, yeah, I heard the voiceover. But I've got a better idea. Look! The toxic wing? Yeah! I asked the ladies from my Mahjong club to fly it over. Now are you happy? Happy? If you weren't my mom, I'd kiss you. Meanwhile, Dr. Kilimoff himself came down to the garbage barge to supervise the operation. Yuck. I'm not getting paid enough to work with garbage. Yay! I resemble that remark! <laughs> it looks like my plan is a huge success! 
Soon we'll have enough garbage to filthify all of Tromoville. Unless the Toxic Crusaders come flying out here on one of Bender's whacked out inventions. Psycho, I'm going to forget you ever said that. Said what? See, boss? I forgot it also. Good. Now hurry with that filthifying process. Whoa! Slow down, man. I, I think I'm gonna be airsick. Not in my doggy bag, you won't. Target sighted! No zone, prepare to land. In all that garbage? With my allergies? No way, major disaster. Seaweed and kelp, give us some help. Oh, wow. Dynamite trick, Mr. Major Man. Yes, yeah, sometimes I even amaze myself. Come on, fellas, let's shake a leg. I've sure had lots of practice doing that. Look, boss, it's the Toxic Crusaders, and they're flying on one of Fender's whacked out inventions. Notice, I'm not saying a word. Well, don't just stand there, you cretins. Fight them all. Radiation Rangers, hit the deck. Enemy troops at 3 o'clock. It's only 11.30. Maybe we ought to come back later. This is the part I really dig. Attention, seaweed. You know what we need. What do you say, Mom? Shall we swab a few slobs? Psycho, Bonehead, you two stay and defend the garbage barge at all costs. If you need me, I'll be in my impenetrable bunker 60 feet below the ground. Now, where have I heard that before? But suddenly, the tide of battle turned against us. The Radiation Rangers were getting the upper hand. While back on the pier, Mayor Grody was cashing in on the big battle. Get your binoculars, folks. You can't see the bloodshed without a binocular. It looked like the end of the Toxic Crusaders, when suddenly... Snail. It was Snail Man coming to my rescue! <laughs> Snail Man, am I glad to see you! Wow, you snails really know how to slug. That's nothing. Watch this. Thanks, Snail Man, for everything. Hey, us hideously deformed creatures of superhuman size and strength have to stick together. You, yeah, I see what you mean. But wait, my job here isn't finished yet. I got a little bit of garbage maker for my new underwater domain. Besides polluting the harbor, it's bringing down real estate value. Uh, this will take all of my 240 horsepower. There. Now to dump this thing where it belongs. On the shores of Island City. As usual, Kill em Off got chewed out by Zars Oster. Kill em Off, you screwed up again. You'll pay dearly for this. Hmm, in that case, there's only one thing left to do. Bonehead, Psycho, you screwed up again. You paid dearly for this. Okay, boss, how much is it this time? Let's see, there's $50 for shame and degradation, another $50 for pain and humiliation, and $75 for distress and aggravation. Yay! Thank you, faithful citizens of Tromaville. But the cheers aren't necessary, though they are kind of nice. It was our job to make Tromoville safe and free from environmental hazards. And now... Shh! Now that the threat to Tromoville was taken care of, we could continue with Yvonne's concert. <coughs> As I was singing before I was interrupted... Oh, I wrote this little song, and if you want to sing along, I'd love to let you, but you really shouldn't try! You could hurt yourself by singing way too... Sorry about your TV sets.